Hi. A while back, I made a video and showed you how to make a very simple thermoacoustic engine. And because I use rice inside the engine, I named it the rice engine. Later on, I made several videos to show you how to improve the performance of the rice engine. For example, I replaced rice with glass beads because they last much longer than rice. Also, I made the engine taller because in this case, the temperature on top of the engine would be moderate. And so the balloon that is here and works as a piston, it can last longer. Inside the engine, I always used a piece of steel wool. And of course, we had some other stuff inside, either glass beads or rice and some aluminum piece. Also, we injected water into this engine in order to improve the performance of the engine. Because I had the steel wool and water in the engine, after tens, tens of times of operation, eventually the steel wool will get rusted and uh, it will be destroyed. So that is something that I never liked. And I always wanted to replace the steel wool with something else or maybe totally remove it. So now I came up with a design that I completely removed the steel wool and basically the engine works much better than the first version. So today I'm going to show you how to make the rice engine V2. All right, so to design the engine, you need three cans. These are 84 millimeter height and 80 millimeter diameter. They can go into each other. So select the cans that can go into each other. For my case, the cans, they have some sort of paint inside it. Um, for the first stage where we apply heat, you don't want to have paint inside the can because it will create a smoke. So we have to get rid of that. If you have paint removal, first remove that paint. Even if you don't have it, you take the first stage, you go outside your house and use a torch, maybe something like this. And basically you burn the lower part of this can so that the tin will burn and also the paint that is inside the can will all be burned. You don't want to burn the top part because maybe you want to solder it to the next stage. So after you totally burned it, uh, if you apply heat to this can, then it will not produce any smoke. So then you can turn it on on your stove if you want. Okay, so this is a stage one. For a stage two, this one, you take another of these can. Um, we can maybe remove the paint or in this case, I have not removed the paint. I have not experimented with this a lot. So I don't know whether I should remove the paint from this stage or not. So at this moment, I kept the paint. But anyway, what you do is that basically we want to create some holes into the back of this can. So you take a hammer like this and you take a screw, a sharp screw and hit across this can. Basically, you will create a mesh like this. So this stage will sit here like that. Now inside this, we are going to pour the rice or in this case, I will pour my glass beads. So these are glass beads that I bought. Basically, the glass beads, they go into this stage. So this is a stage two. For a stage three, I have already shown you how to make a stage three in the previous videos. I put the link of those videos in the description. But basically you take another of these cans, using a can opener, you remove the bottom of the can. It will be like this. And then you take a balloon, you put the balloon on top of it. You take a knot and using super glue, you attach the knot to the center of it. You wait for 10 minutes and then it will be totally attached. So then you have a stage three. On a stage three, you create a tiny hole, maybe one millimeter or a bit less. Also on a stage one, you create a very tiny hole, approximately one millimeter. So we should try to align these holes together so that we have full control when we want to run the engine. So the hole on the lower part is here, the hole on the top part is here. I also put a piece of tape on here so that these holes sometimes should be open and sometimes it should be closed. With a piece of syringe and some water that we have, we can inject water to the lower section and then here the vapor can come out. All right, so now we have to seal these things together. To demonstrate it, I only use 
uh, normal tape but for this stage actually it's better to solder them together because it will get hot and maybe normal tape will be melted this stage is okay you can keep it uh, with packaging tape or duct tape whatever that you prefer okay so now i attach these where is the scissor okay so the top stage is attached i must make sure that the holes are in the same side and for the lower stage okay i use this tape but this is not a proper tape for this stage because this will get very hot maybe i should use some captain tape all right so i will search for my captain tape and i'll come back okay so i found the captain tape if you don't have it you just use the same tape but then it will melt probably Maybe even the captain table melt, I don't know. Best is to solder these stages together, stage one and two. All right. So now, our engine is totally ready and I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so by injecting, oh, this was so much. But you observe that the engine starts to oscillate right after I turned it on. And if I inject water, the engine will basically work faster. And now you, you see that there is some smoke coming out of the engine because this gets very hot. You can also fill the lower part of the engine with water. In that case, the engine will not get very hot and then you can use normal tape here. But yeah. So this is basically the new version of uh, thermoacoustic engine. Later on, I will solder this together and will add some heat sink to this so that we see the performance of the engine uh, a bit better. So it runs away from the heat. Alright, so that's all for this video. See you next time. Bye.